Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create videos with ChatGPT. Okay, of course, we know ChatGPT is a text creation AI platform. Uh, mostly we use it for text generation, code generation, even solving mathematical problems. And sometimes we can use it to generate images as well. But ChatGPT has actually gone beyond that in that you can use it nowadays to generate videos and it's completely free of charge. So we're going to use the free version of ChatGPT. And as you can see over here, I've just logged into my ChatGPT account. You can log into yours as well. If you don't have, you can create, you just go to OpenAI and create account is free to create and log in. So once you log in, you can come all the way to the top where you have your profile picture over here and just click on it and you can see explore GPTs. This is the option. You just click on it. And then once you're here, you can see different kind of featured GPTs, different kind of like add-ins that you have with ChatGPT. But what we are targeting is a particular one, which is called Visla. Okay. So once you hit on Visla, you can be able to see it over here. Video maker GPT by Visla. You can just click and let's go ahead and see start. Now, once you click on start, it will bring you over to this very platform. Now, the first thing you need to see is this is the chat area, just like the way you have it in ChatGPT. Now, you can create a video from the uploaded PDF. If you have a PDF containing some information, you can upload it here and you can create a video from it directly. Or you can analyze current social media trends for videos. You can analyze trends and then you can make videos out of it. And then you can create a video about a particular topic, for example, about the AI feature in Nigeria or the AI feature in educational system and so on. And then you can create a narrated video from images. Okay. So if you have a bunch of images, you can add them or you can upload them from here. You can just add them directly over here and you can make the videos out of them. But for today, our main target is to create the video from a text. So let's click on create a video about something. Okay. So I'm sure it's going to ask us to provide more information. Sure. Or would you like the video to be about? Let me know the topic, style, and specific details you want to include, like target audience, platform so that you search as YouTube, presentation, business presentation, and so on. I'll craft the scripts and generate the video for you. So now let's see for the video. This is a YouTube video audience should be students YouTube video audience should be invested undergraduate students and keep this style informational Okay, this is very direct, so we can hit on enter and let's just wait and see what kind of video it is going to create for us. Now we've got it. What's the title? The topic of the video should it be educational, it is study tips, career guides. No, so I just want it to be the future of AI in the university in the educational system. All right. So this is a title. So let's see what it's going to give me. Great. So this is the topic. AI transform educational and the university system. I will structure the script to cover introduction. Briefly introduce this. How is AI currently used? Future possibilities, potential challenges, and conclusion. I'll draft the script now. Stay tuned. Okay. So let me just say okay to this. And let's see. I think the draft of what it has given me is cool. So let's see. So you can see this is the draft. This is the video draft. And then you can see it's in one, scene two, scene three. These are the details, challenges, and ethical concerns, conclusions, and so on. Let me know if you want any tweaks before I generate the video. So you can make changes if you are interested in making any changes at any given point. You can ask it to add a specific concept or a specific uh, topic that you are targeting or a specific area that you want to add. But I think this is cool. You can go ahead and generate. Okay, this looks cool. So generate the video. So let's hit on enter and let's give you some seconds to go ahead and generate the video. All right, you can see your video maker GPT by Bisla wants to talk to openai.bisla.us. Okay, confirm. 
All right, so you can see right now, it says the video, video is ready. Uh, the future of AI in the educational system. Uh, you can see this, this is the claim code and we can copy it later. We'll see how to use it if we want to download. So let's copy this and then let's click on this to watch the video. All right, so you can see the video is ready by the left. You can just click. Artificial intelligence is reshaping the way we learn. But what does the future of AI in education really look like? Imagine an AI tutor that adapts to your learning pace, giving instant feedback and personalized study plans. With AI, education is no longer one size fits all. AI is also making classrooms smarter, automating tasks like grading and enhancing engagement through interactive content. From speech to text tools to real time translation, AI is breaking barriers and making education more inclusive than ever. As AI advances, it's not replacing teachers. Okay, this is fantastic. You can see and to the left, you can see the text that was used in generating the video that we've seen. This is a text and this is a timeline. This is a time frame for all of it. You can try to navigate over this and see if you are interested in changing anything. Okay, so you can share this video if you're interested in sharing and then you can save to edit also if you want to save to edit. So this is going to be done in Visla. So this is where you put in the code that we've just shown earlier on. We just passed it and then you can see it's a video and this is going to bring in this video into Visla and you can edit it and add in different features. Now one of the key things that you can see now the video is now editable. You can see we have a timeline where we have all the scenes are connected and brought in. So when you talk on any scene, you click on any scene, you can be able to change things like you can add, adjust the B-roll, you can add it increase the length or decrease it or you can crop around and remove some sections of the b-roll and put them wherever you want and once you're okay you can confirm this to your choice okay and then you can record the video if you want to record by clicking on this you can use this to record video you can do voiceover as well you can record voiceover directly or generate ai voiceover or remove voiceover if you're interested and this way you manage your audio you can preview and hear the audio you can play around with the voiceover you can increase or decrease this is the background music this is the voiceover you can play around with your functions as well and then over here you have the text you can add new text you can add header text or any body text if you are interested and then you can scale this up or down you can do cropping and adding comments and so on these are basic things that you can do and you can come over here and edit the text also directly this text is ed editable you can change the timing once you click on the scene one you can change the timing how much time you want if you don't want it to be this long you can change and edit it as well and then you can add regenerate the voiceover after the script is updated you can update the script and then you can regenerate the voiceover you can add comments you can come over here you can do many of these things you can add b-rolls adjust the b-rolls or you clear b-rolls or b-roll recommendations this one can take you to where you can see recommendation in terms of what kind of media you want to use okay these are recommended but then you can click over here and check from other platforms as well so this is just for your own benefit to just choose you can as well delete a scene or split a scene into two or you can rename it for example you can select this you're on this scene you can split it into two so you can have two separate um scenes okay so this is very basic you can adjust the entire length of the video and then you can be able to at any given point have access to the language you can change the language to any language of your choice and then you can also be able to upload media directly this can give you access to all the media they have in terms of video these are stock videos you can search directly these are product media if you have any these are start media if you have any maybe you favorited anyone you find it here and then over here you have different kind of audios this is audio effect this is voice over you can generate you can upload you can remove voice over and this is background music you can be able to have background music added these are different styles you can change the aspect ratio of the video from here as well you can change it from 9 by 16 16 by 9 1 by 1 depending on what you are creating there's more to this to what you can add to your video creation and then down here you have the optimal options you can add an image and you can change it to this optimal 
Fatima, this is fit, this is fit off. Depending on what you are targeting, you have a lot of background effects over here and style that can change the video looks. And then over here you have text. There are different types of text. You have the header text. You can add this text of different style. You can add it to the background or without background. You can change the sizing, whether it's T1 to T4, depending on what kind of text. And you can change location, position. You can put it left or bottom left and top right and bottom right or center as you so wish you can specify the position of the text and then these are styles of the text as well you can this is for body text this is for a header text okay you can have subtitles as well what we have here you can actually adjust it you can change the coloration of the keyword or you can have it to change the sizing also as well very easily from here you can make it word by word by enabling this and over here you have graphics you have access to different kind of shapes different kind of emails different kind of stickers and 3d shapes that you can import directly and use in your video very easily you can be able to add that and then you have transitions just like in many videos you can have transitions and we just hitting of the plus sign be able to add this particular transition this is why price this is why left depending you can just drag and drop it in a particular scene okay in between two scenes you can just drag and drop it and then you can see wipe left wipe right and then the seconds number of seconds and apply to all if you want to apply these particular transitions to all of your videos and once you're okay you can regenerate this if you don't want you can also preview this if you want to and then lastly you can come over here and you can download either in this resolution or in 4k but just click on the export and you can see right now your video generation is in progress we will notify you once it is done okay so you can just give you some seconds and wait for it to finish the rendering and then the exporting so this basically concludes this tutorial about how to use chat gpt to generate videos instead of the normal text or images or codes that we are used to in the use of chat gpt i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one so I'll play the video at the end of this. Artificial intelligence is reshaping the way we learn. But what does the future of AI in education really look like? Imagine an AI tutor that adapts to your learning pace, giving instant feedback and personalized study plans. With AI, education is no longer one size fits all. AI is also making classrooms smarter, automating tasks like grading or enhancing engagement to interactive content. From speech-to-text tools to real-time translation, AI is breaking barriers and making education more inclusive than ever. As AI advances, it's not replacing teachers, it's empowering them. The future of education is smarter, more accessible, and tailored to you. What do you think about AI in education?